带嚟《先漫游仙境》。艾丽斯一个人坐喺寂静嘅河边，天气热到佢发困啊！佢想摘啲野花，又唔愿起身，于是就翻开佢姐姐嘅古仔书，但系书里面全部都系文字，冇图画。睇到佢昏昏欲睡，突然间一只身穿新史礼服嘅白兔喺佢身边跑过嚟，佢转进咗一个洞里面就唔见咗啦。艾丽丝走去追白兔，连自己都跌咗落个洞里面啊！白兔先生根本就冇留意到小艾丽丝，佢总系忙住拎住佢嘅陀表，自言自语话：，哎呀，天哪、啊，我要迟到啦！然之后就一阵风咁跑咗去啦。艾丽丝好奇咁跟住佢，但系佢就走失咗啊！佢发现自己嚟到一排锁住嘅门前面。但系就唔知道应该点样出去。艾丽丝见到一张三条腿嘅台上面有一把极细极细嘅金钥匙、哦，佢就用金钥匙打开一扇小门，但系道门太细啦，艾丽丝入唔到去啊！呢、这、一个时候，台上面又出现咗一个瓶子。上面写住学我两个大字、哦，艾丽丝就饮晒佢，佢即刻就变成一个几寸高嘅小人儿啊！但系当佢食咗一塊饼干之后咧，佢嘅身体又开始变大、哦。艾丽丝入唔到去嗰扇小门，佢就大喊起嚟啦！佢流下嘅眼泪，争啲将间房间都淹没咗啊！最后，佢见到台上面有一塊小蛋糕，上面写住吃我，佢先至停止咗喊啊！食完蛋糕之后，佢又变得好细。呢、这个时候，白兔先生匆匆忙忙咁跑过嚟。艾丽丝想知道佢要去边一度，于是就问：唔该。兔仔听到之后就吓咗一跳啊！佢即刻掉低佢嘅手套同埋扇子，就跑咗去啦。艾丽丝想要追过去，但系佢成个人都被自己嘅泪水淹没咗啊！艾丽丝好后悔，佢再唔敢流眼泪啦。呢、这个时候，有一只老鼠喺佢身边游过嚟，艾丽丝跟住佢上咗岸啦。岸上面嘅小动物全部都被佢啲泪水搞到湿立立啊！啲动物们就要求艾丽丝讲古仔俾佢哋听。但系佢所能够谂到嘅就只有佢嘅猫，哎呀，结果就将啲动物都吓到走晒啊！呢、这个时候，白兔先生又翻翻嚟，佢不停咁讲：冇啦，我手套唔见咗，公主夫人一定会杀咗我。白兔见到艾丽丝，以为佢就系女仆人玛丽安啊！白兔就叫艾丽丝翻去帮佢攞手套同埋扇子。去到白兔屋企，艾丽丝见到台上面有扇子、手套，仲有一个小樽。艾丽丝饮咗樽里面嘅一啲水，佢嘅身体又变大啊！佢大到几乎整烂咗白兔嘅屋企啊！
。当佢食完白兔留低嘅饼干之后咧，佢嘅身体又变细咯。佢跑咗入去一个森林里面，见到一只蓝色嘅毛毛虫瞓喺蘑菇上面抽水烟。毛毛虫就话俾佢听，吃蘑菇嘅唔同部分会令佢变大或者系变小嘅。爱丽丝就食咗蘑菇嘅左边，佢就开始变大、哦。佢又食咗蘑菇嘅右边，佢嘅身体就变细啦。后嚟佢又嚟到一间小屋嘅前面，睇到青蛙同埋金鱼着住仆人嘅衣服站喺门口。爱丽丝好想入呢一间屋啊！呢、这个时候门开咗啦，原来系公爵夫人嘅房间。厨师正喺度煮紧一大锅汤，仲喺度慢咁放啲胡椒入去，令到大家都喺度打乞嗤啊！公爵夫人坐喺一个摇篮旁边照顾婴儿，但系个婴儿却不停咁嘈。公爵夫人见到艾丽丝，就将婴儿交俾佢，自己就去咗陪皇后玩槌球啦。艾丽丝呢个时候先发现，原来婴儿系一只猪仔。于是佢就将小猪放喺地上面，跑咗入去森林里面。爱丽丝一抬头，见到有一只柴棍猫伏咗喺大树上面，佢请爱丽丝去参加一个茶会。喺嗰一度，爱丽丝见到三个奇怪嘅家伙，三月兔。风舞箱同埋睡鼠，佢哋嘅行为都系不可理解嘅。爱丽丝就趁机会逃走啦，佢跑咗入去一个美丽嘅花园里面。三个园丁正向一丛白玫瑰撒红色嘅颜料，原来皇后要求佢哋种红色嘅玫瑰，园丁却种成咗白色嘅玫瑰。呢、这个时候嚟咗一对纸牌模样嘅人。葡国王同埋红桃皇后咧就行喺最后面，皇后见到白玫瑰就想要杀佢哋，爱丽丝偷偷地将佢哋收埋喺一个大花盆里面，先至令佢哋逃过咗呢场灾难啊！呢、这、一个时候，棒球游戏开始咯噃。皇后将活嘅火烈鸟当作系球棒，刺猬就当作系球，而嗰啲纸牌士兵就用手脚撑喺地上面，弓着身子当系球门。玩球嘅时候，皇后每一分钟就嗌一次，杀咗只狗。皇后太喜欢砍人哋嘅头啦。艾丽丝佢好惊，想要逃走，但系皇后却强迫佢去见假海龟。后嚟有一只鹰头兽将佢带走咗啊！假海龟见到艾丽丝，就对住佢讲咗一大堆好笑嘅笑话。鹰头兽未等佢讲完，就将艾丽丝带到去法庭嗰度听审判啦。法庭陪审员系十二只鸟兽，法官就系国王，佢喺假发上面压咗一顶皇冠，叫人望上去好唔舒服。后嚟轮到艾丽丝上庭，皇后宣布要斩咗佢嘅头啊！艾丽丝话：乱讲。个系副纸牌，边个怕你啊？呢、这、一个时候，全副纸牌都自动升到天空上面，然之后又软绵绵咁落喺佢嘅身上。艾丽丝发现自己嘅身子都越长越高，几乎同以前一样啊！法庭上面嘅台屋
顶，都俾佢逼到乱七八糟啊！呢、这个时候，艾丽丝发出一声尖叫，佢就喺梦中醒咗过嚟啦。佢发现自己正系瞓喺河边，手上面拎住姐姐嗰本。全部都系字冇图画嘅书啊！佢话：哎呀，我扮咗个怪梦。于是佢就起身翻屋企啦Alice in Wonderland. Alice was sitting alone by a riverbank. The hot day was making her sleepy. At first, she wanted to pluck some wild flowers, but she was too lazy to stand up, and ended up flipping through her sister's storybook. The book had many words, but no pictures. And the more she read, the more she felt drowsy. <laughs> Suddenly, a white rabbit, wearing a fine suit, hurried past her, ran into a hole, and disappeared. Alice followed the white rabbit, and also fell inside the hole. Mr. White Rabbit did not notice Alice, as he was always looking at his pocket watch and saying to himself, "Oh dear, I'm going to be late." After that, he would rush off at top speed. A curious Alice followed behind him, but lost him in the end. Later, she found herself facing a row of locked doors. And had no idea how to get out. Alice found a small golden key on top of a three-legged table. She used it to unlock a small door, but Alice was far too big to go through the door. At that moment, a bottle appeared on the table, labelled with the words "Drink Me" in large letters. Alice finished the bottle and immediately shrunk in size and became only a few inches tall. 
But after, she ate a biscuit and grew towards the ceiling. Now she couldn't go through the door anymore and started to cry. <laughs> She shed gallons of tears and nearly flooded the whole room. At last she saw a piece of cake on the table with the words, Eat me, and stopped crying. Alice ate the cake and became small again. Just then, Mr Rabbit trotted past in a great hurry. Alice wanted to know where he was going and asked, Excuse me, sir. <gasps> the rabbit was startled, dropped his gloves and fan and scurried away. Alice wanted to follow the rabbit, but noticed that she was now submerged in her own tears. Alice was regretful and promised herself not to cry again. Meanwhile, a rat swam past and Alice followed it to shore. At the shore, she saw that all the small animals were soaked with her tears. The small animals asked Alice to tell them a story, but Alice could only remember her cat, and this resulted in all the small animals running away in fear at the mention of the cat. Mr Rabbit came back again and kept saying, Oh dear! I've lost my gloves! I've lost my fan! The Duchess will surely get me executed! Mr Rabbit mistook Alice for his housemaid, Mary Ann, when he saw her again. He instructed Alice to fetch his gloves and fan from his house. Arriving at the Rabbit's house, Alice saw a bottle together with the gloves and fan on a table. Alice took a sip from the bottle and grew bigger and taller towards the roof until there was no room left for her to grow any more. But after she had eaten the biscuits left over by the rabbit, she began to shrink until she was small. Alice ran out of the house into a jungle and met a blue caterpillar sitting on the top of a mushroom, smoking a long hookah. The caterpillar told Alice that eating the mushroom from different sides would either make her grow taller or shorter. So Alice tried the mushroom from the left side. And it made her grow taller. Then she tried the mushroom from the right side and it made her shrink. Soon after she came to a small house where she noticed that a frog and a goldfish were dressed as servants standing at the door. Alice really wanted to enter the house. At that point the door opened and revealed the Duchess's room. A cook was cooking a big pot of soup and was adding pepper to it. The pepper caused everyone to sneeze. The Duchess was sitting beside a cradle, looking after a baby who was howling non-stop. When the Duchess saw Alice, she flung the baby at her and went to play croquet with the Queen. Alice caught the baby and realised that the baby was actually a piglet. Therefore, she set the piglet onto the ground and it ran towards the jungle. Alice raised her head and saw a Cheshire cat sitting on a tree. The cat invited Alice to join a tea party. At the party, Alice met three unusual characters. A March Hare, a Hatter and a Dormouse. Alice could not agree with their behaviour and secretly ran away to a beautiful garden. 
three gardeners were busy painting white roses red. They had mistakenly planted white roses instead of red ones as the Queen had instructed. At the same time, a troop of soldiers resembling playing cards marched in. Followed by the King and Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts saw the white roses and ordered the execution of the gardeners. But Alice managed to save them by putting them into a big flower pot. At that same moment, the croquet game started. The Queen was using live flamingos as mallets, live hedgehogs as croquet balls, and the soldiers were standing on their hands and feet to make arches for the goalpost. During the game, the Queen shouted about once a minute, Off with his head! The Queen was so fond of beheading people that Alice felt scared. She wanted to run away, but the Queen forced her to visit the Mock Turtle first. A griffin came and took Alice away to see the Mock Turtle. The Mock Turtle saw Alice and started to tell her a lot of funny stories. Without waiting for the Mock Turtle to end his stories, the Griffin came and took Alice away to the court for a trial. The jurors were a group of animals and birds. The judge was the king and he wore a crown over his wig which did not look at all comfortable. Alice was the last to take the stand, and the Queen ordered her head to be chopped off straight away. Alice shouted, Nonsense! All of you are just a pack of cards. I'm not afraid of you. Suddenly, the whole pack of cards rose up into the air and landed on top of her. Alice could feel that her body was growing taller and taller, as tall as she was before. The tables and roof in the court were all in a mess. At that moment, Alice released a shriek and woke up from her dreams. She realised that she was still lying beside the riverbank and holding on to her sister's storybook. Oh, I had a strange dream said Alice as she stood up and headed home. <laughs> <laughs>